over 30 times we have lifted the debt ceiling since President Reagan was president. Over 30 times. Not one time did we subject a president to this uh, a burden of saying you can't, we won't lift it unless we reduce the deficit. Of course we will reduce the deficit. But it should not be connected. And, and the, uh, uh, the idea of that we could jeopardize whether they're sending out social security checks or military checks or that our credit rating would be affected by this is appalling. Uh, but I commend Senator Reid for trying to find a path. I commend the President for his patience, for his respect, for every view on Democratic or Republican view, giving it time, consideration, trying to make it work. Uh, I wish the same uh, uh, respect for his time was, uh, and the responsibility that we all have uh, was there. So uh, I would like to see what that proposal is about the committee to include revenue as well. Because if you just make cuts, you pretty soon will be cutting benefits. There's just no way that you can tr cut $3 trillion in domestic spending, uh, especially when they don't want to have a firewall between domestic and uh, defense. So we, you know, we have some uh, ways to, to do it that it would work, that would work, that would truly reduce the deficit, enable us to grow our economy, create jobs, educate our children, honor the values of our country, a dignified retirement uh, for our seniors, the education of our children, the creation of jobs, the security of our country, and, and while we reduce the deficit in a values-based way.